Reflexes like the palmer grasp, stepping, Moro and Babinski are an inborn automatic response, nature's toolkit to help an infant adapt to the world. Many reflexes, breathing, swallowing, and sucking, for example, have survival value. Other more primitive reflexes like the Moro and grasping are considered leftovers from our evolutionary heritage. Survival reflexes usually become voluntary at some point during the first year, while the primitive reflexes disappear. <laughs> Anthony, go back down for a second. So, so pretty much losing that. So she withdraws the, and the toe goes up and fans out. Just like that. Some reflexes are predominantly related to the nourishment of the infant. Here, in response to stroking at the corner of Aiden's mouth, we see the rooting reflex. One week old Aiden turns his head and opens his mouth. He roots in the direction of the stroking. This helps the infant find the breast or bottle and begin feeding. Sucking is another reflex that helps the infant find food. Aiden will instinctively suck on any object that is placed in his mouth, including the doctor's finger. Some reflexes are predominantly related to the protection of the infant. Stroking the palm of Mackenzie's hand will cause her to close her hands and fingers in a grasp. The grasping reflex may be so strong that the baby can support her own weight. The Moro or startle reflex is seen when support for the head and neck is suddenly lost or in response to a loud noise or sudden movement. Here, one-week-old Aiden throws his arms out and back in response to the doctor's sudden drop of his hands. The Moro reflex, which should be fully present at birth, begins to disappear at around five months of age. Jessapina, who is just two months old, has already begun to lose the Moro reflex. Absence of the Moro reflex at birth or reappearance after the normal age of disappearance, approximately five months, may suggest damage to the central nervous system. So she doesn't have a startle anymore. It's gone. Okay. She's, she's matured and she's overriding that. Some reflexes, such as the stepping reflex, are related to postural control. When held upright with her feet just touching a flat surface, two-and-a-half-week-old Olivia appears to take steps and walk. This reflex, which typically disappears at around two to three months of age, will not be seen again until Olivia learns to walk on her own. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. I'll do, let's, let's do that a little better. Let me hold you this way so people can see you. And there, like that. She'll start taking some steps. And you can get it to, if you sort of touch the top of her foot, she'll pick up a little bit there, like that. Reflexes are also used to identify normal brain activity. Absence, persistence beyond the normal time for disappearance, or the reappearance of a reflex later in life is suggestive of significant neurological problems. For example, the Babinski reflex, exhibited here by Olivia when the bottom of her foot is stroked, causes the big toe to flex towards the top of the foot and the other toes to fan out. The Babinski is normal in children under two years of age. After two years of age, the presence of the Babinski indicates damage to the nerve paths connecting the spinal cord and the brain. <laughs> 